Okay. Um, hi guys, it's Vanessa. Welcome back to my channel. So, I know things look a little different right now. Um, I'm looking at my monitor to try to see, like, if I'm in focus. Because I have, like, a new, like, full-size tripod that comes to, like, like, right here on my face. And then I have my camera on top. So, I, it's hard to make it eye level because I'm, like, kind of short. So, um... Anyway guys, um, today in this video, I'm going to show you how I've been dyeing my hair. Now I had a vlog where I got um, partial highlights at the bottom of my hair, and they grew out. You can see, um, like on this hair, they grew out a lot, so I started dyeing it like a magenta color, like a red and a purple combined um, that I made. I, come up, I came up with myself with my own products. Yes, my shirt's inside out, so um, I don't get like the real actual side of it too dirty but um, I'm gonna show you all how I dye my hair what I use and stuff like that and while I'm dyeing my hair I'll catch y'all up with my life so I can chit chat more instead of just talking in the intro without it doing anything while I'm doing my hair I'll chit chat with y'all guys because obviously you can see around me and you can look at me I look different and the things around me look different so um yeah I already have my hair separated so we can color my hair. First I'll go over how I separate my hair. So I just have partial highlights. So this um, bun on this side of my head has no highlights in it. This is all natural hair color. So um, I don't touch it. And then I have partial from like right here down um, highlights. So what I do is I just split in, in the middle of the back of my head. And then I split in the middle on the sides. I'll do each section these four sections individually um, and that's how I curl my hair hopefully the lighting is okay I have good daylight bulbs in my bathroom but um, I couldn't get my new tripod and my old little tripod that's like just this big to fit like properly in the bathroom because I'm in a studio apartment which I'll explain later um, so yeah I'm just you're outside of my bathroom in my bedroom and this is the inside of my bathroom um, so Hopefully the lighting is okay. I have like a baby ring light right there and um, just the nice good daylight light bulbs out there. So, I mean in here. So, um, yeah, that's how I separate my hair. And what I use uh, for my developer is this Ion Sensitive Scalp Color Brilliance Volume 10 developer. Um, yeah, this is just my developer. And then my color that I've been using is this Clairol Professional Flare Me Power to the Purple. Um, this is permanent cream hair color. So this is the box that it comes in. And then this is the tube. I use a little bit of this tube for what I already made. And then I finish the other half of the other tube. I've dyed my hair already. That's why it's this like red color. This like red brown color because it faded. Um, I did that about two and a half weeks ago. I wanted to do this video and film my hair like three or four days ago so it would be two weeks but um, just life. I'll explain that to y'all later once I'm dyeing my hair so we don't waste time. So this video is not forever but this is the color that I use and then I put in some of this um, semi-permanent hair color in rate from the brand Enrage Color in Crimson Red. I've had this for a while. It's halfway halfway full so um, I was like I don't want this to go to waste I'll just add a little bit of it in my purple color because I want my hair to be purple not red you know so I was like um, it'll make a cool magenta color so what I do is I fill this is a 1 4th teaspoon measuring spoon I fill this up with the red and that's all the red I use and that's it and then for the developer and the hair color, it has to be equal parts of hair color and developer. So this is one tablespoon. I put two tablespoons of developer and then two tablespoons of the hair color inside um, just this little cup that I use. And I have a hairbrush like to dye your hair. I got it at Sally's for like 68 cents. I got everything at Sally's except this. I've had this for like three years. I don't know where I got it from. I know I didn't buy it. I think one of my friends gave it to me. Um, my contact is messing with me. Ugh. I haven't worn my contacts in like a week because it's spring in Texas and the the pollen and everything is crazy. So I put it on for this video so I could see how if I'm blurry in the camera in my monitor, but I can't see that 
far away without contacts on. So, anyway, yeah, I don't know where I got this from. Probably Hot Topic or something, because my friends, you know, and I used to shop at Hot Topic when I was younger. <laughs> and then in the hair color, so it it's also like a mass treatment. I don't just have developer and hair color. I have like a little, like a little squeeze, like one little like poop, like little turd, just, just like poop of like hair conditioner. So this is the Ever Strengthening Plus B Brazilian Keratin Therapy Conditioner from OGX. I like the shampoo and conditioner of this. So right now, um, this is the conditioner I'm using. Um, and this is what I just add to it. You can put a hair mask, um, like this one. This one is good. The Maui Moisture Shea Butter Heal and Hydrate Hair Mask for dry damaged hair. It's creamy rich, um, has shea butter, coconut oil, macadamia oil. It's silicone free and it's, um, made with 100% aloe juice as, um, an ingredient. So this is like a healthy... It's like an eco-friendly and it has like a lot of good ingredients. I got this at HEB. Um, I've seen it at Ulta. And they have a bunch of different stuff in this brand, this Maui Moisture. So you can put like a hair mask conditioner in your hair dye or just regular conditioner. Today I just did this because it's easier to dispense. Um, it's not as messy. So what I do is I just take sections of the hair. Usually I split each section into four. So two and then two and then I do that and then do the other two later. And I will just take, oh I got, oh crap, I got, I got stuff on the counter, hold on. So right now I'm in an apartment, I'm in a studio apartment. Um, I am a leasing consultant for apartments and this is the apartment I work for. And I also live here. So what I do is I just, you know, mix the dye in the cup a little bit more until it's like you know goodly evenly mixed and then I just take whatever whatever's on the brush um, I scrape a little off and then I just paint my hair I'm gonna turn this way a lot because my mirror is here and I can't see really <coughs> oh my I forgot I usually use gloves but I didn't put gloves on so I'm not gonna use gloves but I'll be okay don't worry you can just, um, you know, wash your hands really well and use um, Vaseline, like, on your ears and your neck and stuff so you don't get it on on you so much. But I just, I just forgot gloves because I was worried about trying to set up to film. So that's okay. I won't use gloves today, which is fine. I'm not doing anything today. Um, my boyfriend. So I'll just start talking now catching y'all guys up with my life where I've been because it's been like six or seven months that since I filmed a video I feel really bad that I just fell off so I'm just gonna take another section and do the same thing it's really self-explanatory but I just thought I would film a video just to explain like what I've been doing differently with my hair and you know to show people how they can you know dye their hair at home another way extra little chip tips and tricks and stuff and then I thought while I was dyeing my hair like actually painting it I could just catch all up with my life. So, I moved out of my parents' house. I've been in a studio apartment with my boyfriend for about a month. Today is the 24th of March when I'm filming this. I don't know when it's going to go up, but hopefully before April. And, <laughs> um, so yeah, I've been living with my boyfriend in our studio apartment since the 22nd of last month. And so it's been a month and two days actually, but yeah, I moved out of my parents, I'm in the studio apartment with my boyfriend. Um, it's not a one room studio, a lot of people in my family were like, oh, like, you're moving into the studio, it's probably going to be so small, like blah blah blah. And, and by the way, this smells really bad, I planned on doing this outside, but I was like, I want to film it, so I have to do it inside, but I did it inside the last time I dyed my hair and it just it my apartment smelled bad because it's a little studio so the scent like travels my apartment smelled so bad for like two or three hours it smelled like the hair dye and then I smelled like the hair dye because it was on me and then when I washed it out I still smelled like hair dye like you won't you will not 
not smell like hair dye until like a day or two after you dye your hair, you definitely will smell like hair dye still the same day you dye your hair. So if you have like an event or something, I wouldn't dye my hair that day. I would just wait um, until... Not, I wouldn't wait, I would just do it before, you know, so, because, yeah, see, so I, like, got it on my neck, but it's okay, and, like, my hand and my arm, I'll be okay. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so I wouldn't dye my hair, like, the day of an event, like, say you wake up, like, at 9 in the morning because your event isn't until, like, I don't know, uh, 7 or 8 p.m., so you just wake up early, dye your hair so you can blow dry it and, you know, curl it, straighten it, whatever you want to do to it you will still smell like your hair dye like really strong so I would do it the day before you know I wouldn't wait till the day of to do your hair um to dye your hair if you go to a salon I mean me I've never colored my hair at a salon I was gonna have my friend Hugh do it the guy that did the partial highlights but I moved out on my own like I said so I'm just trying to save money everything um like the brush, the, what do you call it, what is the developer, and the hair dye costs like $20, because I bought two things of hair dye, which is good, because I ran out of one tube, and I had to open another tube just a little bit to do this right now, so I'm happy I actually bought two, because if not, I wouldn't have enough uh, hair dye. I just wanted it to be perfectly even. Two tablespoons of developer and two tablespoons of hair dye, and I only had like a tablespoon and three fourths of a tablespoon of hair dye, and I wanted it. It says equal parts, so. Okay, guys, so my camera stops recording like every 11 minutes. I don't know, like it's too hot or something. I don't understand it. But, um, hopefully, I'm still in focus. I think I am. Um, I just finished the rest of that bottom section, and I'm gonna start, you know, these. I have these two little sections to do, so I'll do that. Um,. I washed off the color so I wouldn't get the color on my camera and see it like it stains a little bit but I'll be okay don't worry and even if you don't care you're like I don't care I'm not worrying that your hands are purple it's like okay well then whatever but yeah see so it it faded and I don't like this like orange color it's ugly so and so I was like I need to re re dye my hair um so yeah I'm just gonna brush it a little because I had it in a ponytail for work today and I hairsprayed and uh, like edge controlled my baby hairs. I hairspray and I use hairspray and edge control so if anybody tries to tell me you can use edge control you're black like leave me alone because I can use whatever I want to smooth down my crazy baby hairs. So yeah, I'm just going to section this off a little bit and start the process again. So I forgot what I was saying when my camera turned off, I'm sorry, so hopefully what I was saying made sense or whatever story I was telling because I get sidetracked a lot made sense. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll go back into talking about my life. So I'm still in college at Northeast Lakeview, um, you know, to get an, an Associates of Science so I can be a nurse. And um, I'm going to get inducted into an honor society. It's called like the National Honor Society of Leadership and Success or National Society of Leadership and Success. There's no honor in it. I just call it honor society because everybody knows what an honor society is. But when I say the National Society of Leadership and Success, I'm like, that doesn't sound like something a lot of people know about. So yeah, you just need like, I think you just need like a 3.0 average at least, I think, to be in it. I have like a 3, right now, sadly, I have like a 3.1. Um, when I got invited, I had like a 3.7, like I think. So hopefully, like this semester, I can finish with a 3.7. I know I will. I'll be able to. I'm just, you know. I've been trying to get used to, like, living with a guy and, like, not with my parents. You know what I mean? I just, I don't know. I don't know how many of y'all, like, have moved out or still live at home with their parents, but... I don't know, I've just been trying to get used to it. I love it, it's fun, it's awesome. You know, I feel like if you move out, you have to be ready. But if you move out with a guy, you have to actually see yourself having a future with that person. Like, Well, that's just my personal idea. Like, I wouldn't move out with 
you or like you know a guy if I didn't see myself having a future with you so I definitely see myself having a future with my boyfriend right now um, I'm just sorry I keep like stopping talking I'm just trying to make sure I get I make sure you evenly distribute the color everywhere so like you have nice like even color instead of like little stripes that's why I keep going over it same pieces um yeah so see with my boyfriend right now I sorry if you can't see what I'm doing I'm just I'm so short and I don't have a step stool I was going to step on an ice chest like a mini personal ice chest but I was like I don't want to have to do that like what if I fall or what if I mess up the ice chest and there we go we don't have a personal ice chest anymore you know so I was just like uh whatever I'll be short in in the video so that's fine but yeah, like I see myself having a future with the boy with my boyfriend, like the guy I'm with right now. Like I really love him and he really loves me and he's not like he we both have like our baggage from like previous relationships, so like he got cheated on. Oh, did I do that? Okay, yeah. So I'm gonna go sorry, I like need to stop talking. I'm gonna do this last section. So he got cheated on like really badly um when um well before me like this guy I'm dating right now his name is Desmond and I was dating him in middle school and a little bit in high school so like sixth grade through sophomore year I was dating and he's a grade ahead of me so like he's 21 already I'm 20 um so sorry hold on okay good so, he, like, graduated a year before me, so, like, for him, we dated 7th grade through junior year, but with me, it's 6th grade through sophomore year. So, yeah, like, um, we have previous history. We've dated each other before, and, you know, for, like, three years, I think, um, we were separated, and just, you know, figuring ourselves out, you know, because I feel like junior senior junior year of high school senior year of high school and like freshman year of college you learn so much like about yourself so like i just i just say like we were finding ourselves we we're figuring out who we wanted to be he's texting me right now he said i miss you oh that's so cute he's at work right now um i went to work earlier today at the apartment complex that i live at but we only worked till 11 because we had an Easter egg hunt for all the little kids. So I like put bunny ears on and I like helped the kids play musical chairs uh, before we did the Easter egg hunt. And then I helped them do the Easter egg hunt and then we broke a piñata. I can't pronounce that right so don't make fun of me and even if you do I don't care. Whatever. Um, <laughs> so I helped them do the piñata. And then after that, we had pizza and cupcakes and, you know, Kool-Aid jammers and stuff like that, you know. And everybody was so cute and so happy that they got eggs and candy and money and <laughs> pizza. So I had fun. I, I don't really like kids because, like, when, they, when they're acting up and stuff, you can't, like, tell them, like, oh, be quiet. Like, I don't know, because it's not your kid to be telling them like hey be quiet calm down like you're being too loud or I feel like I'll redirect like a kid like too harshly so I'm like afraid to like be around kids because I don't want to be like too mean I don't know because I get like I was about to say I get frustrated easily and then I was about to say oh no I don't and it's like no you're lying you do like I get frustrated real easily so I just that's why I prefer to stay away from kids because kids are very frustrating, you know. And, you know, when I have my kids, I'm sure I'll be able to discipline them or redirect them, talk to them because they're my kids, you know. Like, hey, what you just did is really bad and, you know, you can't do it again. And if you do it again, like, this will happen or I'll take this away or you can't have this, you know, just something. Sorry, my phone goes off because my boyfriend's texting me, but I can't text him back. I have dye on my hands. And my boobs. <laughs> so, so yeah, we did that today, and I had a lot of fun. I like, I like doing little things like that. Like we throw, 
Halloween parties and uh, like the Easter one for an Easter egg hunt for the little kids that live here and I just you get to know like the people that live in your community and the kids get to meet each other and they can go play together you know um, like on my way home while I was walking home because I just live so close I saw a bunch of the kids playing together and I had never seen like kids playing together on our like on our apartment complex property ever so I thought it made me really happy like oh I helped in like bringing a community together like I like that it's it feels nice it was all my manager's idea you know I haven't worked there a full year so she does like an Easter egg party every year and the manager of my apartments that I work at that I work at sorry is actually my boyfriend's grandma so I don't and like his mom and his grandma live on property with us so I just it's really nice you know I can just if I need to talk to somebody or if I need help or with anything I can just walk like to another building on the apartment property and you know they're there and talking about my parents and stuff because I don't live with them anymore like even even if I need my parents, like, they're there, I can call them, so. That's why, what also, like, <laughs> look at my hand. Um, that's what also, like, I think, like, if you're not ready to, like, disassociate yourself from your parents, or not really disassociate, just, like, not see them every day, not talk to them every day. I mean, you can talk to them every day. Like, we have cell phones, we have FaceTime and Skype and Uvu and all these other, you know, Google Hangouts. Well, what's another one? There's another like texting app that I know of that like has a video chat I think. I just got dye all over my arms. Last time when I did my hair, when I dyed my hair, I just got dye like on my wrists. I got dye on the door. I need to clean that right now. Um, yeah, but I guess because I'm trying to film this, I'm just getting so messy. So, now that I have all the dye in my hands <laughs> and in my hair I just go over it and like kind of smush it around which makes more of a mess for my hands but whatever um and I just make sure like it's even you know but yeah and I have a hole in my shirt <laughs> I know y'all wouldn't have noticed if I wouldn't have said anything but I don't care so yeah what I just do is I put my hair in a bun and then I just leave it in for 30 minutes. So I'm gonna put my hair in a bun and just let it sit for 30 minutes and clean up because I got dye on some of the counter in the door and I don't want it to stain. Okay guys, so I dyed my hair already and it's it's really cloudy outside already. Um, so I tried, oh hopefully I'm in focus because I didn't even focus it. Oh well. So, um, I tried, um, I tried, what, you, what am I talking about? Okay, never mind. I just want to show y'all how the color came out. Um, I like to do it when there's sunlight, but, like, in the sunlight, but it's really cloudy today. Um, so there's not that much sun. But, maybe you can see, um, a little bit. I really like it to be subtle, the color, because my roots from highlights grew out. So that looks tacky do you know what I mean it looks ghetto it looks ratchet it looks tacky so I don't want the purple to be like ba bam purple in your face because oh sorry I got distracted because my roots grew out I don't want it to be like black and then purple like it defeats the purpose of me dyeing my hair and I don't want to dye it black because I just think that that's boring I want something that's like a little fresh a little new so this is it really it's just like a magenta color I tried to let it dry as much as I could um, so you could see like the true color but my hair is still like half well, it's only like halfway dry um, so yeah that's like the true color it's like a magenta color it's oh my god this is scary it fades over time which is fine and then it gets like really ugly once it fades like how you saw in the beginning so I like 
this and a little lighter than this. So like every two weeks is a goal to like dye my hair. I don't want it to go like that long how I had it like two and a half weeks. Because that looked really ugly. That was like two washes too many times. So yeah I can probably get like six washes out of this. So two weeks. I don't wash my hair every day you guys. You know. So I can like preserve the moisture and the color obviously. But yeah, just something really subtle. I don't even know if you can see this on camera because I don't have a monitor set up right now. Because I'm by the sliding door of my apartment. But hopefully you can kind of see it and kind of tell the, the difference. Shh. Who are you growling at? Be quiet. So yeah, guys, um, I'm just waiting for my boyfriend to get home from work with Wingstop. Today's Saturday. We're just going to eat Wingstop um, and watch a movie on... The computer or something um, and I'm doing a laundry right now so thank you guys for watching this video clicking on this video I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel leave a like um, and a comment in the description box if you have any questions or you want to say something um, I'm sorry again for being so MIA going AWOL you know for my military people you don't know what AWOL is um, yeah, but being MIA on YouTube, I just, you know, I wanted to enjoy my life, you know, before I move out. And I wanted to move out and be moved out for a little bit before I started YouTube again. And I just fell off. And there's nobody to blame but myself, so I'm sorry, guys. But I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I'm going to continue starting to make more content. So just make sure you subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss anything from me, okay? Alright, bye, guys. I couldn't resist. Look at this sweet mama. Doesn't she look... Oh, where are you going? You don't want to be on camera? There's the sweetest little baby.